Hey guys, welcome back to Tennessee Yankee. Hey, today I thought we'd do a fun video on what is in our UTV toolbox. Lots of times you read forums and get an idea of what people like to pack, but thought it'd be a little bit more fun to see it. So first I'll show you what's in my trunk overall, and then I will open the toolbox up and show you what's in there that I take with me on the trail. So in my toolbox here, I got, uh, I use these, I like to use these plastic things. They keep things watertight and a good way to organize everything. So in here I got uh, tire plugs and then some rubber cement. And I used to have my, uh, my tire tool in there, but now that's in my toolbox. So I got that. Got the old wolf snout for when you're on a dusty ride. Find these old coffee containers work great to keep the dust out. Got to have some jumper cables. And then in here, I don't even remember what is in this old DeWalt tool bag. Let's check it out. Must not have used it lately. Oh, this is my toe strap. So I got toe strap. I got a, a, a tree strap. Got a clevis. I got an extra 50 foot of spare winch cable. And I guess that's about it for that. Then I got one of these, picked this up at Harbor Freight. So pretty sweet. I think this was about four bucks. Use this to uh, clean my windshield. Every once in a while, just give it a good spray. Just keep water in there. And then sometimes I bring a spray bottle of like soap and water. Uh, got a spare belt that's uh, broken and ready to go and then in here we got this is uh would be like first aid kit and just different wet wipe type things and there's a emergency blanket in there and a snake bite kit and a some oh you gotta have some tape i've used this before to tape up my buddy's arm on the trail when he busted it um, and you can make a splint with uh, you know sticks work pretty good <laughs> wrap the arm and and these nice uh, microfiber towels and then wrap it up with some tape and get them off the trail so that's that's what this has in it and then it never hurts to have a tarp in case you get in a big rainstorm and then way back here, I got an air pump. So this is a pretty simple little one. I got off Amazon, uh, it works, that's all I need. And then I have the toolbox itself. So we'll go in the shop, stick that on the bench and take a look at what's in there. But you can see here, this uh, on this Can-Am trunk, I'm sure, you know, if you're on a Razor or KRX or something different, you'll have different kinds of setup. But on this particular one, I can really put a lot of stuff in there. And what's nice is it's got these cylinders on it. It can seal it up and then everything stays pretty much dry in there. So, all right, let's go check out the toolbox. All right, guys, first off, I love this rigid toolbox. Got it at Home Depot. Um, pretty heavy duty. I wanted something that had metal uh, going through the hinges. It's got these metal latches. You could actually lock it if you used it for something else. And I like the low profile. And then what's really cool about it on the inside, they have a bunch of compartments. So it's easy to kind of organize things. So in the UTV toolbox, like I said, we got compartments and one of the first compartments I got here, just uh, put a bunch of hose clamps in it. Second compartment, I got another big uh, clevis, tow clevis, and then I put um, a bunch of uh, necessary metric sockets in there that I might need. That's another nice thing about having old toolkits with mismatched stuff. You can always kind of pick out what you need for one of these kind of toolboxes so you don't have to take it in and out all the time. Just got some different uh, 
I don't even know what you call these things. Rings, D-rings, I don't know, towing stuff. And then on the other side, I have uh, just an old belt and then some electrical tape. And in this one, I have the spreader tool for changing the belt on the Can-Am. I got extra fuses, fuse puller, small screwdriver, and then I have some lighters, and then I have some electrical connectors if you need something, and then some spare batteries. So that's here. Then my last little container in the back, I have, I don't know, there's just a, a uh, strap in there. Okay, now in the middle, let's see, here's a bunch of goodies. I got a bunch of zip ties, can never have enough zip ties. I got some small zip ties, got some copper wire. Um, I got a bunch of these bungees i think i have a bunch of these in the front glove box on my side by side too love these bungees use them constantly um so convenient to uh secure things you can get them really tight too uh, a few times ago i was out on the trail and the guy had some bad wiring so i threw some extra trailer wire in there if you gotta have some wire on the trail Let's see, here's my Can-Am tool, tool kit. Here's the tire plug tools. Got to have a cinch block. For those of you that don't know what a cinch block is, you can use this to basically double your winch power. So if you have a 4,500 pound winch and you use your cinch block, it'll double it to 9,000 pounds. You could use this as a pulley to change direction of your winch line. Um, believe it or not, I've never had to use it. Um, but it'll be in there if I do. You gotta have some vice grips. You gotta have some channel locks. We got some needle nose pliers. You got a spare universal screwdriver that we can do the Phillips or the regular blade. We got a Stanley knife with a sharp blade. Just an old pair of pliers here. We got a metric set of wrenches. Allen wrenches. And then a series of end wrenches. And a few extensions for the sockets. Oh, and then we also have a wire stripper. So all these fit nicely in the middle of this toolbox. Before I've used some soft-sided ones like that DeWalt one that you saw, I've used that in the past and that doesn't work too well because half of these tools make their way through the fabric on it. So that concludes what's in my UTV toolbox. Guys, thanks again for watching. Hey, I want to know what you guys put in your trunk. What did I not think of? What did I miss that uh, should be in my trunk? I love learning from you guys. Uh, so I appreciate you watching. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell and get notified of future content. And we'll see you next time.